हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव सीन स्टैंडर्ड टेंथ साइंस फर्स्ट यूनिट नंबर सेकंड दैट इज पीरियडिक क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एलिमेंट्स इन दिस यूनिट वी हैव सीन अ कांसेप्ट ऑफ पीरियडिक ट्रेंड्स इन मॉडर्न पीरियडिक टेबल सो इन लास्ट वी हैव सीन व्हाट इज मीन बाय पीरियडिक ट्रेंड्स in modern periodic table and then there are three properties that is valency atomic size metallic and non metallic characters these are some properties which shows periodic trends in modern periodic table and we have to study them out of these three properties we have studied uh, valency the first property which shows periodic mm -hmm. trends that is valency in last we have seen this uh, property now today we are going to learn the second property which shows periodic trends in modern periodic table that is atomic size so next point is or next property which shows periodic trends in modern periodic table is atomic size so first of all what is mean by atomic size see the size of an atom which is indicated by its radius so size size of atom which is indicated by its radius then what is atomic radius see atomic radius it is a distance between the nucleus of an atom and the and its outermost shell see what is atomic radius it is a distance between the nucleus of atom and its outermost shell see suppose atom having a nucleus and its outermost shell so distance between the nucleus of atom and the outermost and its outermost shell so this distance is known as the atomic radius this distance is known as the atomic radius then atomic radius it is expressed in the unit of picometer which is smaller than the nanometer so atomic radius which is measured in a unit called as a picometer see and one picometer is equal to 10 raised to minus 12 meter so this is important atomic radius is measured in a unit called as a picometer shown by pm and one picometer is equal to 10 raised to minus 12 meter so this is about the concept of atomic radius now we have seen uh, how this uh, atomic radius forms periodic trends in modern periodic table so atomic uh, size see atomic size which is depend on the number of shells of an atom atomic size which is depend on the number of shells of an atom as the uh, number of shells are larger the atomic size is large now uh, we are uh, going uh, to see this atomic size in pairs and groups first of all we have to see what is the effect of this property in group or what which trends is followed by this atomic size this property so while uh, down while going down a group while going down a group the atomic size goes on increasing if you have to see in this modern periodic table if you take first group and if you see that when you are going uh, from top to bottom in a group then you will find that 
in every element you will see that the number of shells are increases so in a group while going down in a group the atomic size goes on increasing we will see one example suppose the elements of the group first are hydrogen having atomic number 1 lithium atomic number 3 sodium 11 and then k potassium having atomic number 19 if you see this atomic number you will find that this hydrogen atom it has a single orbit then lithium atomic number 3 so it contains two orbits if you uh, do the electronic configuration of these elements you find you will find that in while going uh, to downward while going downward the uh, orbits number of orbit are increases by 1 see hydrogen having single orbit lithium having two orbits sodium which forms three orbits potassium forms four four orbits and so on and hence while we are going for, towards the downward then the atomic size goes on increasing see this is because while going down in a group while going down in a group a new shell is added you will find here while going down a new shell is added in that element and so a new shell is added therefore the distance between the distance between the nucleus and the outermost shell is increases so the distance between the nucleus and the outermost shell is increases and hence as a result atomic size is increases so in a group while going to in downward we will find that the atomic size is increases because of because of the orbits number of orbits are increases and hence the distance between this nucleus and outermost shell is increases and due to that the atomic size going increasing so this is about the group now what happens in period this is about the group <clears throat> now in period so while going from left to right in a period see in this chart while going left to right in a period then what happens see while going from left to right with a period within a period the atomic radius goes on decreasing see while going from left to right within a period then you will find that the atomic radius goes on decreasing and the atomic number is increases by 1 see in example if you take the uh, elements of second period that is lithium uh, beryllium then boron carbon nitrogen oxygen so these are the uh, elements in group second and if you find their atomic number that is 3 4 5 6 7 8 so on so in period what happens while going from left to right within a period the atomic radius is goes on decreasing atomic radius is goes on decreasing and the atomic number see these are the atomic numbers they are increases by 1 so their atomic number is increases 1 by 1 what it means see atomic number increases what it means it means positive charge on the nucleus is increases by 1 unit atomic number increases it means the positive charge on the nucleus is increases by 1 unit and at a time however 
the additional electron gets added in similar orbit see the additional electron gets added in same orbit and due to this and due to this increase in nuclear charge the electrons are pulled towards the center or towards the nucleus and therefore there is a great there is a greater extent uh, that the electrons are pulled towards the nucleus in great extent and so the size of atom getting decreasing so what happens in the period while going from left to right you will find that their atomic number is increases by one by one at a time it means the positive charge on the nucleus is going on increasing by one unit however the additional electron see a number of atomic number increases and atomic number which is uh, which indicates the numbers of electron so as the number of electrons is also increases and this increasing electron number is added in same outermost orbit same outermost orbit and due to this increased nuclear charge the electrons are pulled towards the nucleus to a greater extent they are pulled towards the nucleus with a greater extent and as a result the size of this uh, atom is decreases and therefore while going from left to right in a period the atomic radius is goes on decreasing so these are very important question for examination now uh, we will see one example also here are some elements and their uh, atom here are some elements with their atomic size atomic size is also given see in group uh, we have studied that in a group while going down the atomic size is goes on increasing so if we see this uh, elements if we see the elements present in the group 1 that is lithium and their atomic size is also given which is 152 picometer then second one sodium atomic size is given 186 Pico meter, then potassium to thirty one pico meter. Then next one is rubidium. Rubidium having atomic size two forty four pico meter. So in a group, in a group while going downwards, what happens? the atomic size is goes on increasing why we have seen that as we go downwards in a group the number of shells are increases and therefore the distance between the nucleus and outermost shell is increasing as a effect as its effect is the atomic size or atomic radius is increases so this is about the group and Uh, in period we have seen that while going from left to right what happens the atomic radius is goes on decreasing so this is uh, about the atomic size so in this way we have seen a periodic trend with this property atomic radius in period as, as well as in group now next property which shows periodic trends in modern periodic table that next property is metallic and non metallic property so next one is metallic and non metallic property metallic and non metallic property 
so this is the uh, last property uh, which indicates periodic trends in modern periodic table first valency second atomic size and next metallic and non metallics so it is observed that the metallic elements uh, we have studied in this modern periodic table in this table you will find that there is one zigzag line and uh, left side of this line these are all metals and right side of that zigzag line there are all non metals and the elements which are present on this zigzag line that is silicon germanium these these are all metal also uh, we have seen this concept in uh, last lecture so it is observed that metallic elements like sodium magnesium sodium magnesium they are in left side and that was the left and the non metallic elements like sulfur chlorine they are towards the right side and then the metallurgy element that is silicon germanium they lie they lies in between these two types that is that is metals and non metals so the periodic trends in this uh, metallic characters of element and non metallic characters of elements is understood from their position uh, in modern periodic table so first we have seen in a group so first we have seen this property in a group so in a group in a group that is vertical columns while going down while going down in a group a new shell is added as we have seen in a group while going downwards a new shell is added and therefore the distance between the nucleus and the outermost shell is increases so the distance between the nucleus and outermost shell electrons that is uh, valence electron their distance is increases and it results and it results in lowering the effective nuclear charge and therefore there is a less attraction or lowering the attractive force on the valence electron and nucleus and as a result what happens as a result uh, the uh, metallic characters the metallic characters are increases while going downward in a group see uh, metallic characters they have a tendency that is they gives electrons easily metals have a property that is they gives electrons so uh, while going downwards in a group you will find that um, the distance between the nucleus and outermost shell between the nucleus and the outermost shell is going increasing as the atomic size is increases therefore the distance between this nucleus and valence electron is increases and as a result there is a less attraction between this valence electron and nucleus and therefore this electron is easily loses by the element and hence the metallic characters are increases therefore uh, what trends is observed in this the metallic characters of elements metallic characters of elements increases while going downward in a group so while going downward in a group metallic characters are increases metallic characters increases increases so why it happens because the while going towards the downward the number of orbits increases and therefore the distance between nucleus and valence electron is also increases as a result there is a less attractive force between this valence electron and nucleus 
and as a result this element easily gives electrons and metal have a property that is they gives electrons and form cations so these are electro this property is called as a electro positivity so while going uh, downward in a group electro positivity is increases and metallic character is increases so this is about the group now uh, what happens uh, in pyrite we will see so in pyrite see these uh, horizontal rows which are called as a pyrites so while going from left to right in a pyrite what happens the outermost shell remains same outermost shell remains same it means in first pyrite there is only uh, one outermost shell in second pyrite there are two outermost shell in third pyrite there are three outermost shell so while going from uh, left to right in a pyrite what happens in uh, outermost shell in outermost shell uh, number of shells is constant but number of electrons is increases by one while we are going from left to right within a period so as the uh, atomic number is increases by one then the positive charge on the nucleus is goes on increasing and while atomic radius is goes on decreasing while going from left to right what happens the atomic radius is goes on decreasing and the positive charge on the nucleus is goes on increasing by one and therefore what happens the effective nuclear charge the effective nuclear charge is going on increasing and therefore the valence electrons they are held they are held with a greater attractive force and this is called as a electro negativity and as a result of this tendency and a result of this tendency of atom to lose the valence electron is decreases it means while going from left to right the tendency of uh, tendency uh, of lose electrons by atom is decreases within a period from left to right it shows the electro negativity is increases it means non metallic characters are increases within a period from left to right so what happens uh, in a period see in a period while going from left to right while going left to right we will see that the number of atomic number is increases by one and as the uh, numbers of electrons are increases number of electrons are increases uh, the electro negativity electro negativity is going on increasing and therefore there is a less attraction between the valence electron and nucleus and as a result electro negativity is increases and so the non metallic characters are increases because as the number of electron increases this atom uh, do not easily lose the electron because there is a they are attached to the nucleus with a greater extent and as a result the tendency of lose electron is decreases and therefore the non metallic character is increases so in a period while going from left to right non metallic characters are increases while going from left to right what happens non metallic characters increases in a period so in this way we have seen uh, two periodic trends that is atomic size and metallic and non metallic characters within a period or group so uh, you have to always remember that is while 
going downwards while going downwards in any group in any group the electro positivity of the elements electro positivity positivity of the elements goes on increasing and while their electro negativity is goes on decreasing so this point is important for groups and then while going from left to right while going from left to right in a period the electro negativity of the element electro negativity of the element is going on increasing while their electro positivity is decreasing as larger the electro positivity or electro negativity of the element higher their reactivity so these points you must remember now next point that is gradation in halogen family gradation gradation in halogen family that is the elements of 17th group which are known which are coming from the halogen family now we have to see what gradation in halogen family त्या हॅलोजन ग्रुपमधले जे इलिमेंट्स दिलेले त्यांच्यामध्ये ग्रेडेशन कशा पद्धतीने झालेलं आहे तर ते आपण बघूया द ग्रुप सेव्हन्टीन विच कंटेन द मेंबर ऑफ द इलेमेंट्स ऑफ हॅलोजन फॅमिली म्हणजे या सतरा नंबरच्या ग्रुपमधले जे इलिमेंट्स आहेत ते सर्व हॅलोजन फॅमिलीमधले आहेत ऑल ऑफ देम हॅव द जनरल फॉर्म्युला एक्स टू एक्स टू सो द जनरल फॉर्म्युला ऑफ दीज इलिमेंट्स इज एक्स टू दॅट इज क्लोरिन दॅट इज सी एल टू लाईक दिस सो द जनरल फॉर्म्युला इज एक्स टू नाव अ ग्रेडेशन इज ऑब्झर्व इन देअर फिजिकल स्टेट डाऊन द ग्रुप सो वी विल सी दॅट विच टाईप ऑफ ग्रेडेशन इज सीन इन अ सेव्हन्टीन ग्रुप वाईल गोईंग डाऊनवर्ड सी व्हॉट एपन्स फ्लोरिन दॅट इज फॉर्म्युला वी विल सी दॅट जनरल फॉर्म्युला इज एक्स टू देअर फॉर फ्लोरिन हॅविंग फॉर्म्युला एफ टू फ्लोरिन देन ब्रोमिन लाईक दिस सो दिस आर देअर फॉर्म्युलाज सो फ्लोरिन क्लोरीन फर्स्ट टू इलेवन सी इन दिस ग्रुप फ्लोरीन क्लोरीन दीज आर इन गॅसेस फॉर्म दीज आर इन गॅसेस फॉर्म देन ब्रोमीन देन नेक्स्ट वन इज ब्रोमीन विच इज इन लिक्विड फॉर्म अँड व्हाईल दिस आयोडीन आयोडीन इज इन अ सॉलिड फॉर्म सो इन दिस वे वी हॅव सीन देर इज अ ग्रेडेशन इन देअर फिजिकल स्टेट विच मीन्स फ्लोरिन अँड क्लोरिन फ्लोरिन क्लोरिन दे आर इन गॅसेस फॉर्म देन ब्रोमिन विच इज इन लिक्विड फॉर्म अँड आयोडिन विच इज इन सॉलिड फॉर्म सो इन दिस वे वी हॅव सीन देर इज अ ग्रेडेशन इन द हॅलोजन फॅमिली वाईल गोईंग डाऊनवर्ड वी विल सी देर इज अ ग्रेडेशन gradation in their physical state of these elements so this is about the gradation in halogen family so in this way we have completed our second topic that is periodic classification of element and in this topic we have seen elements and their classification uh, then dobereiner tried mend uh, newlands laws of octave modern periodic table then mendelius periodic table so these points are covered in this unit now you have to solve the exercise in your uh, notebook so uh, first one is you have to solve the exercise in your notebook and second one there is one small project that is you have to collect the information about the applications of inert gases that is elements which are present in the 18th group or zero group elements 
you, you have to write uh, the information about the uses or applications of these inner gases or the elements which are present in the 18th group that is helium, neon, argon, krypton like these. You have to write information about the each elements with their uses. So this is a small project. So in this way we have completed our second unit of the paper first. In next lecture we have started the paper second.